I already shared with you all that I really prefer forelimb amputation uh, as a surgery as opposed to hind limb amputation. I do think it is quite a bit more straightforward. However, that does not mean I have this entire surgery memorized. And so anytime I'm going to do a procedure like this, I always get out a few resources first. And this particular article is one that I go back to over and over because it has just incredible clinical photographs, um, like all of our clinicians brief step-by-steps do. It walks you through the procedure uh, with some wonderful author pearls and insights. Um, you know, when I'm doing these four limb amputations, oftentimes they're large breed dogs that have bone cancer. Um, sometimes it'll be for trauma, but just in my experience, you know, it's, it's usually those big dogs and I'm taking off the front leg and I'm a little bit worried about how they're going to do after the procedure. Are they going to be able to ambulate? Is um, this something that's going to be acceptable for the owner? And this article had this wonderful clinical pearl about temporarily placing a sling on that limb just to give the owners an idea about how the pet might cope after the procedure. And you know, that's something that in my 20 years of practice, I have never thought of doing before. So if you have an amputation coming up, I would encourage you to just check out this article. There are, you know, it'll walk you through the steps of the procedure, but there's some other really valuable information in there as well.